Daily Message, July 10th, 2023. In 1 Peter 2, verse 22, it is written that Jesus committed no sin, nor was any deceit found in his mouth. Thus, Jesus was a righteous man in the sight of God. In John 11, verse 41 through 44, is recorded this episode with respect to Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Then Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but because of the people standing around, I said it so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. The man who had died came forth. Yes, Jesus was a righteous man, and it is apparent from this text that his prayers were effective. That is, they produced their desire or intended result. So as written in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21, let us put on the righteousness of Christ, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. In other words, let us abide in Jesus and live to please him. For one is righteous if one is in a right relationship with God through Christ and thusly is doing that which is right in the sight of God. Our righteousness, like Jesus's, having a direct correlation to the effectiveness of our prayers, as written in James 5, verse 16, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So let us put on the righteousness of Christ and be mighty prayer warriors for those near and far, that is, for our families, communities, leaders, and beyond, whereby we claim a community where the evil one has a stronghold and bind and rebuke that stronghold and plead the blood of Jesus over that community regularly in the name of Jesus. And let us also rebuke generational sin from being passed on to the children of that community in the name of Jesus. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.